Hey everyone, it's Mr. Hammond here. And today I thought it'd be fun to teach you how to do a Bob Ross style painting like this one that I made when I was 19 or 20 back in the day. But I'll show you how to do it using, using crayons. So first thing we need, I'm doing it on a half sheet of regular drawing paper or copy paper. I just cut it in half like this. You can fold it in half like that. You can cut it, but I'm just using it like this and I'm doing it this way. Landscape. And see where my fingertips are pointing. That's the top of your paper. I do this lesson upside down and backwards. So all you have to do is draw what you're looking at on the screen. So don't flip anything upside down. Okay, first color we need is black crayon. And I'm using just a regular Crayola. Okay, and let's start maybe over here in the bottom corner and we'll have a line like this and then it goes up now see how i'm pushing hard and then i'm making it light and then i'm pushing hard it's going to help it look more like a mountain and then maybe there's another mountain behind it maybe another one way back here And there we have our, our mountains. Now, along this mountain where we have these little bumps and thick and thinner lines, you can do stuff like that. Maybe put one there. And these little cracks or crags in the mountain. It's up to you how many you put. Okay, now when I'm using, when I made this black line, look at how my fingertips are very close to the tip of the crayon. That makes it so it's really easy to push hard and lighten up and then not worry about my crayon breaking. A lot of times I see people coloring like this, and when they do that, they break their crayon. And I think that's because they hold a pencil like this. And, and you can draw and, and uh, color that way, but with a crayon, you're probably gonna break it if you do it that way. So what I, I'm gonna show you how to pick it up. So you hold it without breaking it. You pick it up like this, flip your hand over, and then just, see, so two fingers, pick it up, slide it over like that. Okay? Now, to do the rocks in the mountain, put it in the middle. And what happens is you get an instant gray tone, your middle gray in this crayon makes it look like rocks, a little more like, like a cliff, a little more like a mountain. And you can decide how you want to do your, your cliffs. Now maybe over here in my world, I'm going to put a, a lake. Maybe it goes like that shape. And now we need some trees. So maybe in front of this lake, really big ones. And, and Bob, he liked to put these big trees on the last minute 
but since I'm doing it with Cran, I got to do it first. Okay, and all you do, I'm flipping it over to the flat side, and I'm holding it. My grip is really tight to the tip, and you just start scribbling zigzag tree, and then when you get to the top, you make it smaller. And I can go over again. Maybe this one needs to be a little taller, a little bigger. All right. And now maybe this area here, that's kind of like our middle ground. So we'll make some more trees, kind of half that size. Or a little even smaller than that. And then maybe on the side of this mountain here, we'll do these guys are really far away, so they're tiny little trees. Zigzag. And you can see I'm switching back and forth, holding it with the tip or the flat part. It's just whatever feels right. All right. And there... We have our, our basic drawing for our Bob Ross style landscape. Now we got to start coloring. Um, since this is crayon, we kind of have to treat it like it's watercolor. So we have to we have to use our light colors first. Sorry about that. Um, so. What I like to do is put some yellow in the mountain background first, make it look like a sunset. And it's okay if the put some in the water. I'm gonna put some down here. This is gonna be like a meadow or grassy field. Anywhere what I want, or I think I might put green, I need to put yellow down first. It just helps the green pop off the paper a little better. All right, there's my yellow. Now, if you don't have yellow, but you have this kind of green yellow, this works too. You don't have to read the label and use it, use it for how it looks. Okay. Next color, orange. It's my favorite thing I used to do with my grandma's watch the sunset. As a little boy. See, this one broke. Put a little, I'm gonna put some in the water. Next color, red. And when I do the red, you can also put some of these colors in the in the mountain. Make it look like the snow is reflecting the sunset. Try to make it look a little bit like a cloud up here. I don't have a lot of room for that. 
Okay, next color, blue. Blue in the water. There's some blue, all, blue over here in the grassy area. Awesome green. So maybe there's like a green foothill. That's one way you can make that. This picture's almost finished. Uh, how about some reflection in the water? So here's our trees. Bob Ross always liked to do his reflections. And maybe, maybe some cloud. Maybe there's some Use my finger, make some mist. I think that's about finished. Sign it. All right. There we have Bob Ross style landscape using crayons. Bye.